Good afternoon, friends. Welcome to a little dose of Dave's dialogue for June 7th, 2022. Here we are in the middle of the afternoon, um, invested some time on the golf course. Even though it was raining, uh, you can still get around in if you're determined enough to play through the raindrop. So that's what happened this morning. Came home, uh, regrouped took care of a little bit of business. And uh, now I'm gonna continue on with session number three, what your doctor wasn't taught in med school about nutrition that you need to know. Um, this presentation started, I've, I've had these files for a while and we did this previous, uh, but over the last couple of months, people have been uh, expressing frustration to me about getting misdiagnosed and doing activities like physical therapy that were actually counterproductive to the mending and the healing process. So um, uh, we are patients, we are subjects, and the, the doctors practice on us. That's what it's called, a practice. And, um, you know, they um, don't always get it right. And um, so there's a lot of things you can do to take your own health into your own hands, and be proactive and be preventative. But there is times when you do have a negative issue that um, a regimen of whole food supplements uh, can turn things around and sometimes miraculously and uh, very dramatically in some cases. So um, once again, um, in my life and in, in my realm, you know, uh, people do approach me with different uh, issues concerning health, whether it's prevention, whether it's a negative issue or something in between. So um, without further ado, we'll just jump right in. Uh, and what your doctor wasn't taught in med school about nutrition that you need to know. Um, let's see here, Let me just expand I think we're about as big as we can get. So, okay, so here we go. So let's recap. Uh, the webinar series in last week's session. Now, this is the third. So we've done two of these and they are on my fan page. Some people call it a business page. And um, you can go and get the first two there. And this will be there. Uh, that's where we're at now. And then it'll be there for a while. So if you can't stay with me till the end, in which case I am going to give out a book, but we're going to talk about that in two more slides. But anyhow, um, you can always go back to my fan page and watch these presentations. You could read, uh, view part one, part two, and here's part three. So I hope you can stick with us today. It's gonna to take about a half hour. So what we did already cover was the importance of supplementing with protein and the amino acids, the importance of healthy flora for good digestion and better health and brain health, uh, the telomeres, what they are and why they matter, and then we talked about the life strip and why it's so special. It's Shackley's life strip. So um, this is part three of four. And in this third session, here's what we'll cover today. The importance of antioxidants and the prevention of free radical damage. The importance of vitamin C and why it's so vital for your health. The vitalizing plan and why its delivery system makes it so effective. So if you hang on to the end, and what I will do is on my fan page, you'll see this uh, video. And then right below it, I will paste the link where you can get a free download of this ebook, what your doctor wasn't taught in med school about nutrition that you need to know. And if you download it, it'll become a permanent um, possession for you that you can refer to at your convenience. You could go back and reread it. So everything that we cover in part one, part two, part three, and then we will do part four uh, this in about a week. And um, so everything in the book is there. And I will post that link uh, right below the video when we have completed this uh, session today. So in our last two webinar sessions, I shared the powerful story of a doctor whose wife's health was dramatically improved due to taking a regimen of nutritional supplements. 
What's ironic is that this same doctor had originally felt vitamins just made expensive urine and were nothing but snake oil. The reason I chose to share this story is because I still hear people sharing their doctor's statements about vitamin supplements being useless. Well, how about you? Is that something you've heard from a medical professional? If someone with that kind of knowledge tells you something like that, you can feel rather helpless. Do you go against the advice of your doctors if they tell you that supplements have no benefit? Well, my hope is the story of Dr. Strand's conversion from the first two webinars will empower you to seek alternate advice or press your case with your current doctor. Um, I know when my mom, she was in her late 80s and dad had already passed and I would take her to her doctor's appointment. I asked, you know, 10, 15 questions to the doctor and God bless her doctor. He did take the time to answer them because I sort of was asking for answers and reasoning and different, you know, um, I questioned everything. And um, I will be honest, I didn't always like the answers I got, but um, the doctor actually kind of got on board with me at the end and he encouraged me to continue to give my mother some supplements because uh, he felt that it was certainly helping her blood pressure and which we got down to normal through diet and supplementation. Mom, mom didn't even exercise other than she loved to hang out clothes on the line. That was kind of her little exercise, but it was movement. It was exercise and it did help. But anyhow, um, but yeah, um, pressure doctors, ask for answers. You know what else I found out they don't like? When you tell them you're gonna go get a second opinion, you go into one doctor and they think they're gospel. They think they are, you know, and when you say, you know what? I don't quite agree with what you just told me. I'm gonna go get a second opinion. Um, I've had the reaction where doctors really didn't like that, but I'm not here to knock doctors. They are trained to treat disease. They look for disease. They know the drugs. They know when you need surgery. They, I'll tell you what they're really, really good at. If you have an accident, you're playing football and you break your arm. They're good. They're really good. You get in a, a fender bender and you bump your shoulder. They're good. They're really good. So I do think the medical profession is very expert in some things. But the whole idea of this presentation is to allow you to know that they don't really study nutrition uh, as much as they do disease and drugs and therapy, drug therapy, I should say. So anyhow, maybe you can tell I get a little bit passionate about sometimes when uh, I interact with doctors. So um, I have some other very negative stories, but now I'll save those stories for another time. My greater purpose for sharing my ebook and this webinar series is to ensure you know that your belief in the need for food supplementation, regardless of what you've been told or read in the news, is in fact 100% correct. If you're determined to protect or regain your health and you only want to use drugs as a last resort, I'm now 100% confident that taking food supplements is a must. And they can, they can complement. There's a time and a place for drugs, but it's not every day and forever. But supplements actually help medicine work better to where you can wean yourself off of medication, which I have done with numerous uh, individuals that I've worked with over the years. So when Dr. Strand's wife had such a dramatic turnaround, he was excited, but still optimistically cautious. While browsing through a bookstore, he saw a book by Dr. Kenneth Cooper called The Antioxidant Revolution. And there you see a picture of it. These are the kind of books I read all the time because I'm interested in it. You don't have to be interested in it. So anyhow, but you might be. <laughs> Dr. Cooper explained a process called oxidative stress, which he indicated was the underlying cause of chronic degenerative diseases. He devoured the book, Dr. Strand. We all know that oxygen is, is essential for life itself. Yet oxygen is also inherently dangerous to our existence. Just depends the application. This is known as the oxygen paradox. Scientific research has established beyond the shadow of a doubt that oxidative stress or cell damage by free radicals is the root cause of more than 70 chronic degenerative diseases that we hear about all the time. If you don't have it, somebody you know does. 
when you understand this tremendous damage that oxidative stress inflicts during normal daily life on the human body, you realize how important it is to optimize your own natural defense system. Your health and life depend on it. The importance of antioxidants and the prevention of free radical damage. Are you getting sick more often than you used to? I know families who they get the flu every winter, and then it goes from husband to wife, wife to kid number one, kid number two, kid number three, and it's just a vicious cycle all winter long. And some people are just more prone to it. Maybe their immune system isn't as strong, but do you feel that you're not as sharp as you used, as you used to be? Do you have a child with attention deficit disorder, ADD, or do you have ADD yourself? I don't think that's such a bad thing. But anyhow, do you wake up with aches and pains? Do you have brown spots and other signs of some sun damaged skin? Scientists now believe that free radicals are factors in not only these ailments, but also in nearly every known disease from heart disease to arthritis to cancer to cataracts. In fact, free radicals are a major culprit in the aging process itself. In 1954, while researching an explanation for aging, biogen or ontologist Denham Harmon discovered the concept of free radicals. Free radicals are unstable molecules in our bodies. They can damage cell structures when they steal electrons from healthy atoms and can ultimately lead to cancer, heart disease, and numerous other illnesses. When this, you know, the, the, the borrowing, the stealing of cells from one to another is the initial um, process for negative issues. So have you noticed if you don't wrap up leftovers at the end of the meal, they will spoil. And why is that? It is simply from bacteria. Is it simply from bacteria? No, it's a result of oxidation. Here you see the apple and you know if you cut an apple and you only ate half of it and you left the other half sit on the counter, it would start to turn brown. That's that oxidation. Your food is literally rusting. It looks like it. one reason wrapping food works is that it keeps oxygen from attacking the uneaten chicken wing or apple slice or whatever it might be. Oxygen and other elements aren't just attacking food, they're also attacking your cells on a daily basis. Yet, as deadly as oxygen can be, it's necessary for life. Oxygen is the fuel that turns on energy production. Without oxygen, we could not make energy. So we're in a bit of a, con uh, a quandary, or whatever, the con con conundrum. We need oxygen, but it's also slowing, rusting. It's also slowly rusting us to death. So it's a little bit of a catch-22, let's call it. <laughs> All right, the job of defending the body against free radicals falls to the antioxidant defense system. What are antioxidants? Antioxidants are vitamins and minerals that are produced by the body and occur naturally in many foods. The cell protectors are uniquely qualified to disarm free radicals before they can attack your tissue and cells. The body also produces free radicals in the normal course of energy production. Here you have a little, uh, but there are other substances in our surrounding environment, such as certain chemicals, smoke, pollutants, solar radiation, et cetera, that trigger the production of free radicals. And here we see some of them as we have pollution, stress, poor diet, UV rays, okay? So discovered by chance, in the late 19th century and early 20th centuries, extensive studies were done to find ways to prevent things like metal corrosion. Food chemists were also looking for ways to extend the life of foods and prevent the oxidation of fats. Oxidation causes fats and oils to go rancid. They figured out that certain vitamin protected food from this certain vitamins protected food from oxidation process. And so they began to refer them as antioxidants. <clears throat> Makes sense, right? 
At first, biologists didn't think about the food scientists' discoveries. <clears throat> Luckily, they soon figured out that if food was being destroyed by free radicals, so were our cells. And if antioxidants would help food, it would also help us. That made sense. So the antioxidants are really the free radical police of the body on call whenever necessary to arrest these nasty free radicals wherever they may be. So you see the antioxidant in the free radical. Stopping these electron thieves early is important so they can't spread their destruction to other cells. That's what happens. One gets stolen, and then the other one becomes short, and it steals from the next. And before you know it, you have a negative issue on your hands, up to and including serious illnesses such as cancer. But free radicals have their place. They help your cells function and ensure cells die when they should. I think they tell us every cell in your body will uh, be reproduced in seven years. Now, some are quicker, you know, when people are being treated with chemo, that's designed to kill quickly reproducing cells because cancer cells reproduce quickly. But you have other cells in the body that reproduce quickly, like your hair. That's why people's hair falls out when they take chemo. So um, every cell, though, seven years from now, there will not be one cell in your body that you have today. Okay. And some you know, uh, turn over or reproduce much, much, much quicker. But seven years from now, every cell in your body will have been replaced. The key to good health is to maintain the right balance, balance in everything. It's the antioxidant versus the free radical. The key to good health is to maintain the right balance between antioxidants and free radical. The more you understand the power of antioxidants and how they work, the more you will truly appreciate the profound role they play in keeping you healthy and building vitality, keeping you young looking. There is overwhelming scientific evidence demonstrating that those of us who eat a diet rich in antioxidants and take antioxidant supplements will, will live longer, healthier lives. Overwhelming scientific evidence. Thanks to our new understanding of antioxidants, we can live not we can live not just longer, but live well in bodies that stay healthy, strong, and vigorous with minds that are alert and memories that are intact. What are polyphenols? <laughs> polyphenols are the most abundant antioxidants in our diet, and they promote health through a variety of gene activating mechanisms. Polyphenols give the red to red wine. The dark, to brown, the dark brown to chocolate, and the green to green tea. So your polyphenol. Grapes, apples, onions, soy, peanuts, berries, and many other fruits and vegetables are loaded with polyphenol. Joseph Maroon notes in his book, The Longevity Factor, how resveratrol and red wine activate genes for a longer and healthier life. They say there's some correlation because people drink a lot of wine in France, and there were some studies that linked that too. But nonetheless, that resveratrol, which is a highly active polyphenol found in high concentrations in the skin of stressed red grapes, is now playing a major role in the anti-aging revolution. Foods high in anti antioxidants are apples, berries, carrots, citrus fruits, dried fruit, garlic and onions, greens, red grapes, and wine. Foods high in antioxidants, sesame oil and seeds, soy foods, spinach, sweet potatoes, tomatoes, tea, turmeric, walnuts, winter squash. Can you get enough antioxidant protection from the food alone? Since all the main antioxidants can be found in food, you may wonder why I recommend that you supplement your diet with antioxidants. Eating an antioxidant-rich diet is an important part of great health, but it, is but it is virtually impossible to get the optimal amount of antioxidants through food alone. Some good reads we offer, books we've read and we share. For example, Dr. Packer, author of the book, the Antioxidant Miracle 
Your complete plan to, for total health and healing recommends taking 500 IU of vitamin E daily. A quick note, it has um, been brought to our attention, and this is an old stat, that I forget how many, I think it's 60% or more of doctors actually take a vitamin E supplement. However, they don't recommend it to their patients. And I really wonder why that is. But why do doctors take vitamin E? In order to get the 500 IU of vitamin E from food alone, you would have to eat more than 100 pounds of broiled liver. Go ahead, get started. <laughs> or 125 tablespoons of peanut oil. Go ahead, get started. Or you could take a vitamin E supplement as he advises. And that's Dr. Packer from that book that we just spoke of. Did you know that more than 70% of Americans will die prematurely from diseases caused by or compounded by deficiencies of antioxidants. Hmm. Although there are literally hundreds of antioxidants, only five appear to be core antioxidants. Vitamin C is a core antioxidant, as well as vitamin A, vitamin E, coenzyme Q10, CoQ10 they call that, and beta carotene, one of the strongest in the whole carotenoid family. So it's exciting to note that people who take even one antioxidant supplement daily can significantly reduce their risk of heart disease and prostate cancer. It seems too good to be true, but we're coming to an age where we have the power to prevent and perhaps even eradicate many of the degenerative diseases that were once considered inevitable, an inevitable part of aging. And boy, we are quick and we are brainwashed into saying, oh, it's old age and my aunt got it, so I'll get it. My dad had it, my grandpa. Well, the cycle can be broken at any given point. Uh, I, could, I could go do a whole webinar just on that aspect alone. But nonetheless, antioxidants have been known to help with immune function, memory and mental issues, heart disease, arthritis and other inflammatory conditions, protecting against skin cancer, protecting us from Alzheimer's disease, the importance of vitamin C for immunity and defense. Just about everything doctors have been telling us about vitamin C is wrong. Current medical opinion says that people can gain all their vitamin C requirements from a healthy diet, not true. We are told to make sure we get five or perhaps even nine helpings of fruits, vegetables each day, and that we do not need dietary supplements. The book written by Steve Hickey, Vitamin C, The Real Story, The Remarkable and Controversial Healing Fact, explains why eating more vegetables and fruit alone, while good advice, will not provide the ben ben benefits of a vitamin C supplementation. And why is that? Government recommended daily allowance for this intake of vitamin C are just enough to pre prevent acute deficiency symptoms such as scurvy. Way back when the people out in the sea, the Navy, the sailors, they couldn't get a C. So the recommended daily amount of C became, the standard became the amount that it would take so that the sailors wouldn't get scurvy, which is a minute amount. I think it was only 40 milligrams or something. So not enough, not enough in today's environment. Anyhow, 1932 nutritional researchers discovered that citrus fruits contained a substance that when extracted and fed to laboratory animals would prevent scurvy. This substance was of course what we call vitamin C. According to the conventional view, intakes above this minimal level are considered unnecessary. But let's face it, who wants to aspire to health level just above not getting scurvy? And that was a standard for a long, long time. I'm not even sure they've changed the recommendation for vitamin C. It still might be that minute amount that you need to prevent scurvy. I think optimal health is miles above what traditional recommendations consider to be optimal. And when it comes to vitamin C, I agree 100%. So furthermore, there is substantial evidence that the intake of vitamin C needed to prevent chronic illness is much greater than the RDA. The RDA once again established it based on that scurvy situation. Erwin Stone, PhD, lived from 1907 to 1984, 
was one of the earliest scientists to realize vitamin C's potential. Dr. Stone used vitamin C to prevent oxidation in food, a purpose for which it is still commonly employed. He also began supplementing his diet with large amounts of vitamin C, as did Dr. Linus Pauling. He was the big guy on C as well. He proposed that humans had inherited and a generic, generic genetic trait to need, but not manufacture absorbic acid. You do not store it. You, it oxidizes very, very quickly. This innate dependency may be satisfied from our diets, but not easily. According to Dr. Stone, the, president, the present recommendation for vitamin C are far less than what we really need based on the amount produced each day by other mammals. So <laughs> we're just a mammal with a brain, the ability to reason. Uh, <laughs> we'll save that subject for another day as well. Humans, for an unknown reason, in our evolution, lost the ability to synthesize vitamin C and must, attain, must obtain it through food or supplements. Your body does not manufacture vitamin C. Remember, water-soluble vit water vitamins dissolve in water. Leftover amounts of the vitamin leave the body through the urine. That means you need an ongoing supply of such vitamins in your diet. You just rent them. They go right through you. You don't, so you got to uh, continue the intake. So due to the fact that this is water soluble, vitamin C is extremely perishable. Soaking a vegetable in water will weaken their vitamin C values in a very short time. So wash your vegetables quickly and never allow them to remain in the water longer than is absolutely necessary. Vitamin C deficiency is a major cause of many of our common aches and pains. The function of all body cells are affected by this vitamin. The most prominent role of vitamin C is its immune stimulating effect. This is why it's important for defense against infections such as common colds. It also acts as an inhibitor of histamine, a compound that is released during allergic reactions. As a powerful antioxidant, it can neutralize harmful free radicals and it's it aids in neutralizing pollutants and toxins. Thus, it is able to prevent the formation of potentially carcinogenic nitrosamines in the stomach found due to consumption of nitrate-containing foods such as smoked meat. Um, I know a lot of people like their sausage and their hot dogs and their uh, beef jerky, and, but smoked meat is very carcinogenic carcinogenic. And there's many, many studies to illustrate such. So anyhow, a recent study published in Seminars in Preventative and Alternative Medicine that looked at over 100 studies over 10 years revealed a growing list of benefits of vitamin C. Uh, lower blood pressure, raise good cholesterol, uh, build healthy skin, uh, just a myriad of benefits to getting enough vitamin C. And this is a short list right here. So anyhow, vitamin C is actually a complex, as a lot of vitamins are, including the B. The loss of any one of its basic substances will weaken the whole. It's like your hand. You know, you could do things with one finger, but isn't it better to have all five? And they synergistically work to help you you know, throw a baseball or catch a baseball or whatever it might be. This is why Dr. Shackley writes in his book, a study course in nutrition that a synthetic man-made substance can never take the place of vitamin C, which nature produces. Your body will recognize it as being foreign and it really won't absorb uh, synthetic vitamin C. So aside from its best known role in the prevention and clearing of the common cold, vitamin C also performs a most important function in general metabolism. And it greatly influences the coagulation of blood in case of accident or surgery, strengthens the teeth and bones, aids in the production of collagen, which is like tissue cell cement. Collagen is what holds our cells together and keeps us looking younger longer. Uh, collagen is a whole new ball game, but, uh, but C is also uh, a part of that connective tissue called tissue cell cement. This cement binds the tissue cells together. Vitamin C has been known to help with anemia, 
bleeding gums, decreased ability to fight infection, decreased wound healing rate, dry and splitting hair, easy bruising. I remember when I had dry and splitting hair and I remember starting to take supplements and how my hair changed. <laughs> Had a healthy glow then. Gingivitis, inflammation of the gums, nosebleeds, possible weight gain because of slowed metabolism, rough, dry, scaly skin, swollen and painful joints, weakened tooth enamel. And the list goes on and on of what can be caused by not getting enough vitamin C. The nutritional systems I recommend Shackley's Foundation Regiments. Shackley offers three great plans for core nutritional support. We have the Vitalizing Plan. We have the Life Plan, which is the premier pack. So it would be kind of, this is kind of the silver, this is the gold, and this would be the bronze, if you will. So, um, and the Essentials Plan. So we have, um, we have a package that will suit anybody and everybody's needs as well as their budget. So last week we covered Lystrip. This week I'd like to review Shackley's vitalizing plan. Vitalizing plan, life plan and the essential plan. Today we're going to be talking about the vitalizing plan. The vitalizing plan combines the Shackley life energizing shake with vitalizer giving you the essential vitamins and minerals your body needs along with added nutritional benefits. The plan includes 30 servings of protein, sustained release B and C vitamins daily, carotenoids, additional probiotics with vitalizer, within the vitalizer. So vitalizer, let's start with vitalizer. This is an incredibly potent multi-nutrient supplement pack with 12 patents on its delivery system alone. 12 patents on its delivery system alone. This company proves that the products will break down and get into your bloodstream where they can actually do you some good. The SMART delivery system designed to improve absorption of key nutrients, ensuring the right nutrients get to the right place at the right time. Vital E is an advanced multivitamin that gives you a little bit of everything. I think our Vital E, we use 32 different plants and vegetables to create the Vital E. The Chromatomax E omega. So there you're getting some of the carotenoids, vitamin E, and the omega fatty acid, the fish oil. Then you also get the B and C complex. We talked about the need, especially for C. And then the Optiflor puts the good bacteria and it will, it's encapsulated so it doesn't dissolve until it gets down in your digestive, your lower intestines where it will be released. And that's where it works to give you the greatest benefit. So it's virtually impossible for people today to hunt and gather all the fruits and vegetables and other food sources that you would have to consume to get the nutrients found in Vitalizer. Shackley scientists worked incredibly hard for many years to figure out how to get all the micronutrients needed for optimal health into one tiny strip that could afford, that you could afford to take every day. And I always tell people, and I've said this for years, Unless you have an organic garden in your backyard and you grow the vegetables, uh, you know, without chemicals, preservatives or, you know, pesticides, you have to rotate too. You have to leave one plot of ground open every seven years, like it says in the Bible. So if you're not organically growing your vegetables in your backyard, picking them at the peak of perfection on good vitalized soil, and bring them, in, bring them in right from the backyard or the garden to your house and steaming them and or eating them raw, you're not gonna get enough. So even if you eat natural, you're not gonna get today's commercially grown vegetables. A lot of them come from Mexico. They get trucked up to California. They store them in these trucks. They actually use a gas chamber to ripen them. It's just, it's hard. It's very, very difficult in modern day world to get so even if you eat natural, it's hard to get all the vitamins and minerals that you need for optimal health. And you get all those nutri nutrients for less than the price of a tall cup of Starbucks coffee. What a value, a little strip here for about 260 as opposed to 350 for one large cup of coffee at Starbucks. What a value, I mean, what a value. 
And we do, when we introduce people to this, you know, we, we talk about, think of where we spend two or three dollars. I mean, if we go here locally, we all know sheets. You go in sheets, you can't spend but eight or nine dollars. You come out with a, a coffee or an iced tea and a pack of crackers or whatever, a snack, you know, you're looking at five or six bucks. I mean, and sometimes more. And what you can get, you know, in terms of health and prevention for 264, uh, what a value. So, and the nutrients Shackley scientists put into vitalizers are not there by accident. They created their formulation based on what was the largest long-term supplement usage study ever done. Check this out. We did the landmark study, 25 years study. The results from the landmark study showed that people who took multiple Shackley supplements over an extended period of time had better health than those who took other brands of vitamins or none at all. It's called the landmark study. I want to just go back to that. Let me just tell you how good this company is. Um, I forget the girl's name. The leading person is one of those California, University of California at Berkeley did the study. And Shackley knew of the quality of their products. They agreed before the study was made that the results would be published uh, to the public. So Shackley put its whole, at that point, 50 year, now we're up to 60 more, 65, almost 70 years. They put their 50 or 60 years on the line. If these reports would have came out and said, no, Shackley people are not healthier, that could have been the end of the company. But our company and our owner and our people had such confidence in the quality that we build in every step of the way as we test everything from the soil to the everything, uh, contaminants, pesticides, all that gets tested. We don't use it, but we'll even check to see if a field, you know, 10 miles away, if the wind's blowing in our direction and we're getting any particle of contaminant, it won't be used. It's unbelievable the extent Shackley goes. And we put our whole reputation, a 50 year reputation on the line with this landmark study, unbelievable. No other company would ever even, none would even do the study to begin with and then allow the results to be published publicly. Just look it up, landmark study. So helps you, Shackley Life Energizing Shake available in soy and non-soy formulas. I like the soy, it'll increase your energy. It'll achieve a healthier weight, if that's what you're looking to do. Because once you get all the vitamins and minerals you need, it kind of creates a healthy appetite. These products can actually help people lose weight, but they, if you were real weak and couldn't put weight on, it can, it's, it's like a total body regulator. It'll help people gain weight, it'll help people lose weight, and if you're at the appropriate weight, you'll stay right there. It's incredible, amazing. It provides digestive and immune support. It also includes the Life Plan Shake. This Power Pack Shake can give you more energy. It contains loads of high quality protein. 16 grams of ultra pure plant-based non-GMO protein will give you a noticeable boost of energy during the day. It's powered by leucine, which helps you maintain your muscle mass. Leucine helps you lose inches while preserving lean muscle. This helps you achieve a healthier weight because muscle will always burn calories more quickly and efficiency than fat. So in any kind of a weight program, most work short term, but they don't work long term because typically you lose muscle and fat and then losing the muscle slows down your metabolism. So when you go off the program, it's just completely hard to maintain that weight loss. It's called the vicious cycle of yo-yo dieting. Most diets, I don't care what they are. There's a new one every day, every week, every from every country, whether it's you know here, there, Europe, Australia, whatever. But they all work short term, but will they last long term and forever? Well, with this leucine, that helps you maintain your lean muscle mass and 100% of it. And muscle will burn calories much more efficient than fat. And our weight loss program. I'll do a webinar just on that. I have the slides. That's a long one. But anyhow, it, can, it also includes pre and probiotics for the gut health that leads to mental stability as well. There is a big mind-gut connection, uh, giving you 1 billion CFU of 
probiotics to support your digestive and immunity and your immune health. Unbelievable. It includes the right amount of omega fatty acids. The thing with a fish oil is purity. And Jack Lee uses a triple deal process to assure the utmost highest quality of pure, pure fish oil. Okay, there's a lot of companies that make fish oil, but none will come as pure as the Shackley fish oil. We call it the Omega Guard. It helps you increase cardio and cognitive health by combining a healthy diet. And we always say still, our products are not an excuse for a crappy diet, but it can certainly help you if you have a crappy diet. But we always say, do the best you can. You got to eat what looks good, what smells good, what's convenient, what's affordable. Eating is more than just, you know, it's a social thing. It's a, it, it's, there's just so much, it's an emotional thing. So, but just making small, better choices, you don't have to overhaul your diet. I always say, start by eliminating or even just cutting back on things that you absolutely are no good for you. So if you're eating a bunch of potato chips and you buy a big bag every five days, you'll buy a smaller bag, you know, and then pretty soon you'll buy even a smaller bag and pretty soon you might not be buying them at all, especially if you're investing in supplements and you're doing something proactive to help your health. It, there's this mental connected uh, thing that, you know, once you start to do something positive, you start to eliminate things that are negative. So anyhow, by combining a healthy diet, modest exercise program, you don't have to go to the gym for two and a half hours every day and feeding your cells with the best nutrition possible or giving yourself the absolute best chance to protect your health or to regain it after it has been lost. And really protecting and prevention will always be less expensive if you lose it, if you catch something, if you get something, then you'll spend all your emotional well-being, your financial well-being, and everything fighting to get your health back. Uh, prevention makes so much sense, and it's less expensive in the long run. So, you know, be proactive about your health and prevent the negative issues. And everything we talked about today can help you in that regard. So, make your tomorrow amazing with one of Shackley's nutritional systems. Once again, the vitalizing plan, the life plan or the essentials plan. There's a plan to fit everybody's needs and budget. Please visit my online shop to get yours today. And I'm gonna show you how to get there. Um, you can friend me on Facebook or you can join my Facebook. So I am on Facebook. I have my own personal profile, but I don't do business on my personal profile. That's more walking the dog, playing hockey, golfing. Uh, been doing a lot of yard work. My yard's not perfect and probably never will but it's looking a little bit better uh, i have a group it's called david pyro's circle of wellness um, that's all about health and nutrition wellness and prevention so we're, we're using some social spaces uh, since i don't have a swing man so i can't do some of these things like post what you like best but i'm gonna here's where it all comes starts flows out of my hub site and where you uh, to find where to follow me, when my upcoming events and much, much more. And that hub site, which really is where everything I do kind of flows and comes from there. It's real easy. It's davidpyro.com. That's me, davidpyro.com. So go to davidpyro.com. In the right corner, you will see my shop where you can see my online store of products. Uh, you can join my wellness project where just by giving me your name and your email, that'll unlock and make available to you um, an unlimited, really, like my uh, a resource guide of uh, other webinars that are archived, uh, where we bring in the experts to talk about things like we're talking about today. Um, anyhow, you can join my wellness center, my wellness uh, project, whatever. That's it, my hub site. Um, that gives you a wealth of digital information on health, nutrition, wellness, and prevention. Really, here's, it's this simple. You wanna talk? My phone number is 814-243-5765. I will post that right under this on my, cause this will be live. It is live on my fan page and it'll stay there for, I don't know how long they stay there, but I'll put my phone number and the link to the book that I promised you. 
So we're winding down here, but my number once again, and I'm old fashioned, just give me a phone call, 814-243-5765. You can text me and you could call me. <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit old fashioned. But anyhow, in next week's session, that'll be the fourth and final, you'll learn about the importance of supplementing with the omega-3 fatty acids, um, the importance of supplementing with the B vitamins. Once again, they uh, don't store very well in the body. You got to have a continuous supply. The six critical things to look for in a high quality multivitamin. The landmark study, which we touched on today, will give you the whole story. Remarkable, remarkable. And the essential plan, Vitaly and Omega Guard. And I will, at the bottom, to get this free download of the book, which will cover all four sessions, uh, the free ebook, which is a download, will be right below. This will be up on Facebook. And then right below it, I will post the link. And I think I'm going to throw my phone number in there today. Why not? So that wraps up today's session, what your doctor wasn't taught in med school about nutrition that you need to know, part three. We'll do part four in a week, probably next Monday. I wanted to do it yesterday. I forget what happened. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, when you're your own boss, you get to work when you want to work. So, And call this work. I enjoy it. As you can see, I'm passionate about wellness and prevention. I'm passionate about helping people regain their health, build their health, and then maintain it. We can help you with weight loss. We can help you with energy. And we had a great discussion today. So thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it very much. Uh, that your attention. Once again, it will be at my fan page for I don't know how long they stay there until Facebook takes them down, I guess. I don't know. But uh, and I will post the link to download uh, for free my ebook. So that's it for today. Take care. God bless. And bye for now.